Hi, my name is Reese Bailey. I'm the Library Academic Director here at Hopkinsville Community College. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the procedure for actually going to the Stack in the Deck assignment and completing that assignment. We're starting here at the at the Hopkinsville Community College homepage. And from here, what you're going to do is click on the current student link. It takes you to the current student resource page. You're going to scroll down and you're going to click on the My Path link. And here, I want you to just click on the Blackboard link to get to your Blackboard course. Once you're there, I'm going to uh, click on my courses. You'll do likewise. Uh, you're going to go to Fall 2020 for, the, for our current courses. And I'm going to select one of the courses that I'm serving as the teaching assistant in to demonstrate uh, how to locate the actual Stack in the Deck exam. I'm going to use uh, Miss Julia Lapoon's. Uh, course that I'm serving as the teaching assistant for. I'm going to click on that course and then I'm going to go down to module 4 click on the drop down menu it'll show uh, several different sections there we, week 10 is when you will be taking your stack in the deck assignment test and so you're going to go to the planning link and you got to click on that drop down and there you will see several different uh, assignments. But at 10.3, you'll see it says learn how to do research. And <clears throat> that's like a welcome for me uh, and the library staff and telling you some basic things about tools and resources we have here. Uh, Learn how to do the stack in the deck is the second link. That's 10.4. There you will actually get some information on stacking the deck itself. And there's a video there. I'm going to click on it very quickly. And it talks about stacking the deck. And again, there's the information on the video. And that is this video that I'm, I'm shooting right now. I'm going to take this previous one down and upload this one by the time you see this. Uh, and then you can cl click on the X to close that particular page. You're still on the assignment page in week 10. And you can scroll down 10.5 talks about actually taking the stack in the deck assignment. You're going to click on that link to open up the test. And here you're going to find a, some setup information for each question. And sometimes you'll notice that this setup information pertains to more than one question. So you just have your setup and then you're going to go to certain sources to, to find the answers uh, to the test questions and you will rely on this on a single setup to answer several questions on the database. So we have that tab open. We went to my path, we came all the way into the course, and now we're on the stack and the deck test. Now what I would recommend you do next is a three step step process is to open up a second window or tab to access those resources you're going to use to answer those test questions. And that, that is going to be the Primo Discovery Tool. That's the Federated Search Engine that a few of these questions uh, ask about. And this first question in the setup, it says in the Primo Discovery Tool search, you're going to type in a certain uh, name or search term or phrase and then you're going to go to the second line and do what it says there but first of all you got to open up primo so you would click on the plus sign 
uh, but I've already opened up my tab. So you click on the plus sign to open up a, do, a different page, and then you would proceed from the Hopkinsville Community College website. Uh, you again click on current student. You'll scroll down the current student page until you see the library link. And on, on a separate tab, in just a minute, we will open up uh, a third separate window. And under that tab, we'll click on the online database link. But first of all, you want to click on the library link because that's where the interface to the Primo Discovery tool is. And now you have that tab open. You just have to remember this is the assessment is the test. The HCC library page is where Primo is located. And then you open up a third tab and you click on current student and you go down the resource page uh, until you see the online database page and you click on that link. And now you have the online database page available to you. And here, you see the, this online database page is entitled the Muse Proxy Application for Hopkinsville Community College. This is Hopkinsville Community College's online database page. It's a direct link. Of course, on the library page, we have a link to the online database page as well. So it's the same page you'll be there. But when you click on assessments to take the test and you go down and you start answering these questions and reading the setups, uh, you're going to get to a question where it'll tell you to go to that link to the online database proxy use application and server uh, location where well, you're already there. You got that tab. So when it when it's when you read this and it'll tell you to go to this link, this is what it's talking about to go to the use proxy application page. And then it says click on scholastic go that's the name of one of the databases because it's right there in that sentence so you'll click on that tab uh, scholastic go uh, when you look at this row that is entitled all categories each of these alphabets each of these letters uh, represent the first letter in the name of the alpha uh, the database so you're going to click on the S for Scholastic Go in the three databases there. You locate the Scholastic Go, you click on that, and then you go back to the assessment and you follow the instruction. You're clicking on Scholastic, Scholastic Go, and then you're going to type Indiana in the, in the search box and click search. And it asks you about the first article and it asks you about citation information. Uh, it tells you to click on the first article and it asks you about citation information and you have to tell it you have to select one of these and when you select the answer you'll get a response that will say yes correct or sorry no the incorrect uh, and your grade will go directly into the grade book so your instructor will be able to use Blackboard to see what your score is on here and that's this as simple as it gets for taking the uh, stack in the deck test, you just have to know which module and which week your instructor has scheduled you to take this test uh, in Blackboard and make sure that you understand what how to locate the test because some of the modules are arranged like some of the courses are arranged slightly different than. Miss Julia LaFoon's class. Uh, and so you just get that information from your syllabus and from your instructor. And if you need any assistance with taking this test, I'm the teaching assistant and, and I'll be your point of contact for the stack in the deck. So you give me a call and I'll log on and I'll be looking at what you're looking at and I can talk you through and, and get the test done. I look forward to working with you. Good luck during the semester. And uh, I'll talk to you later.